What is happening guys? It is Thursday and we are at the Hack and Pack Shop and do I have a video for you guys today? Hopefully we're not going to screw up the radio in my truck. Um, one of my fellow tubers, one of you guys, one of you subscribers sent me a link um, showing me how I can disable the theft lock on my GM stereo. Right there. One of those stereos. This one's out of a uh, 19 or a 2003 uh, Chevy pickup. They use the same radios and like the Impalas. Okay, it's out of this puppy. I'll show you the hole the radio came out of. Just so you guys can see a nice big hole today. So bitch. There you go. This dash piece here just pops right off. Basically, so what you want to do is turn the key on. You don't have to start the truck, throw the thing all the way down into first gear, and then you can uh, pop that panel right out and it'll pull right out. Okay? So, <clears throat> this website is saying that you can remove this little freaking chip inside of the radio and it should work. All right, but the website's telling me that you need a soldering gun. You know, guys, I've got like four of them because when I did the laptop repair business, I used to put a lot of DC jacks in. And you think I could find one of those solder guns today? Nope. So we're going to do something stupid. I mean, the radio ain't working anyway. I just got to find a good little pair of needle nose here. I got freaking crap everywhere in this toolbox. I mean, you bite the Julio here. Hopefully, um, I do have a small enough pair of needle nose. Oh, me. If not, we're going to go caveman style here. Even a pair of small side cutters would work. I mean, I could probably use those. I don't know. They'd be like awfully caveman-ish. That's all right. That's how we roll. Uh, all right. We have this pair of needle nose. This might work. Oh, they're pretty stiff. Though. What do we got here? Ooh, these will probably work really good. Okay. <laughs> so, so what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to be stupid, guys. All right, but this is why you watch me, because you just, you don't know what the hell I'm going to do half the time. But right here, if you look on my computer, right there is a picture of the chip, and it starts 9-3, this one says 9-3-5-5-0-9-3, blah, 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 blah. Okay? That would be that chip right there. And I know Zoom's not going to clarify for you, because this camera sucks. Okay? But is what you got to do is, anyways, it's that chip. So looking at the board of the radio, that's the chip right there, okay? If these have a tape deck in them, the tape deck's on top of this board, you got to take the tape deck out. But this son of a bitch um, doesn't have a tape deck, so basically you just pop this cover right off the radio. You pop it right off with a screwdriver. So I'm going to stick my little handy-dandy freaking things in here, and I'm going to try to work this a little bit and see if it'll just kind of pop off there. You gotta be very careful, guys. All right. So apparently, taking that chip off, that little bugger right there, I'm gonna have to give you guys this video in high def. You're probably gonna like that. Apparently, taking that chip off right there, the song bitch is gonna work. <laughs> Shit. All right, let's plug this thing in. And it says it's gonna read an error code. He says it shows an error code the first two seconds or three seconds or whatever that the radio is on. Okay, so let me uh, see if we could plug this thing in here. I'm trying to do all this one-handed as usual. Uh -huh. I hate doing stuff like this one-handed. So bitch, go the other way, pisser. There we go. Now we'll plug the antenna back in. Well, the radio's doing something. I hear the CD player. I must have it upside down. Yeah, I freaking do. No wonder. I'm having some problems here. <clears throat> Don't let your radio hang out by the wire like I just did. That's kind of bad for the wiring. All right, so, okay. There we go. Where's the key for this song, bitch? Let's see what it does, if it does anything. Saying 12 o'clock. Ooh, 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 son of a bitch. It's showing a little tape duck freaking thing there, but it don't have a tape duck. Calibration error. It is. Oh, look at that. Huh? 
Who is the man now, guys, huh? Son of a bitch. We have freaking tunes. Maroon 5. Look at that. Even the display is working. So there you are. The RDS radio. We freaking did that shit. It's unlocked. It plays. Okay. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Now we have tunes. So do you guys that freaking charge 45 to 90 dollars to do that? I just did that shit. It took me not even five minutes to get the radio out. It was like a seven millimeter, three seven millimeter bolts. The cover pops off. You have a plug to unplug. You unplug the antenna. You take this stupid cover off that pops right off with a screwdriver. Then you take this little son of a bitch here and he took out that chip. That's this chip right there. Look at that stuff. A little freaking chip. Son of a bitch. That's how you get it done, guys. If you need customer technical support for this project, you guys know how to get a hold of me. Later.